Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and we are back in EverQuest Project 1999, and here we go! We're going to Greater Fae, and, um, we should be pretty safe, as no one is in the zone. At all. In the zone. Or in any of the Kaladim zones, or here. Or here, yeah. So, I'm, I'm pretty safe. The only thing that could kill me is um, non-player characters or non-player mobs. So, it should be pretty fine getting through here. Um, so, I want to talk to you guys about a lot of things. But I want to talk about quests first. Um, because, um, as one person has already mentioned... Um, and what I learned tonight is, before I actually decided I was going to head to Greater Fate Art is I got, um, the Talon from the Craigs and, uh, turned it in and it gave me nothing, no experience. And that is because I didn't read the whole thing. The quest actually states that you, uh, that he will reward, um, as long as you give him no fewer than four. So I ended up um, turning in the quest, failed because I did it incorrectly, because I was trying to rush and wasn't all in my head at the time, apparently, and um, went out and um, with my head down and got four um, and turned in the quest. And it wasn't, it was good. It's a good experience, don't get me wrong. But it's not bone chip experience. So I ended up deciding, I don't know why I'm following the path so specifically. Um, but um, I turned in the quest and um, ended up going, I, I think I got an item that I needed. Went to the merchant that's right next or across from where the um, bone chip quest guy is. And noticed they had a full set of... Um, I guess this is called padded armor or something along those lines. And um, it, they were selling it for one gold a piece. Which, um, cloth armor, by the way, if you want to make um, okay money or decent money, loot the cloth armor because it sells for one gold per AC. And the uh, patchwork armor sells for one gold per piece. On a uh, well, you, you buy it, I mean, for that amount. Um, so I, I was able to get a full set of armor, uh, plus uh, two bracers, and um, so there's that. I also was able to find a one uh, long sword, um, rusty long sword, and so I went ahead and sharpened it. And so now I have that, and I also have a shield on me. They're not good quality items. But they will allow me to skill up once um, I get level 6. Which I get pretty close to tonight. Um, I was just on for so long doing quests and other things that I didn't get a chance to really play. Or get get a chance to get my level. But I will uh, next week whenever I start back up on Monday... Uh, as the rest of this week is going to be me playing the other games that I play uh, and also play my main character on blue server. So I do have a blue and red server. This is uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is whenever I play Ogier. And then I post, this, post videos on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. This way uh, it's spread out through the week and um, is in between the other videos that I, I post. Um, so I got through here pretty easily, like I said. Um, didn't have any problems. There was only me in the zone. And I really didn't pay attention, but I probably should pay attention to um, the uh, things that are for sale. Though nobody puts prices on them. Um, I, there are some things that I might be able to finagle out of people. Probably not, but <laughs> at least try to. Um, I also went ahead and um, asked for um, asked to buy fine steel weapons because 
to a merchant, they sell for between um, four and um, between four and six plot, maybe. And I was seeing if I could get myself a two-handed uh, fine steel sword because that um, goes from the weapon that I have now, which is nine damage, forty-nine delay, to eleven damage, forty-three delay which would be a big upgrade for me. Or I would rather have a one-handed slash or a one-handed um, um, uh, mace. That way I could uh, have a primary weapon with my shield. Um, unlike the SK that has a shield that drops in... Um, Kept the core whenever they're doing the um, Rage Bringer quest. Um, there isn't a shield that the Paladin can get from there. So um, I I I don't know where I could get a shield other than uh, trying to farm the shiny brass shield or something along those lines. Um, don't know any other quest except for the Aegeus uh, the life. Well of Aegeus, I think that's what it's called, or I, I don't know the name specifically. I know it's from um uh killing rock grime. Is that I I'm really bad with um these quests because I've never done them before. Uh but I know you could kill the guy in South Karana at the undead camp and it will turn in for a shield that can be used in um your secondary or your back or ranged or back slot. I, for, I forget which one, but either way, it's something that clerics use a lot, and I'm sure paladins can use it as well, which would be nice because I think it also adds AC and it has wisdom on it, um, so it's a really nice shield and it's no drop, which doesn't really matter here because uh, you can only have money taken off your body. You can't have items. Um, which wasn't um, how live was originally on live as long as it wasn't no drop you could um, you could get it and I remember a lot of people having uh, no no drop specific quest items that they would they would get for their characters because of that fact uh, which didn't really matter once you got to planar um, as long as you were in a guild that was in um, fighting in planar zones, you could pretty much get a full set of no drop gear. So um, I was able to take out the um, Centurions, and I ended up finding out it was easier to fight inside of um, Crushbone than outside of Crushbone. So I was able to get about eight belts, I believe. Um, I think I'm about to run here. I don't know if I loot that corpse, but I know I'm about to run uh, to the zone. Um, but yeah, I ended up staying there for a long time. I, I, I fought there probably for um, uh, an hour or so, just soloing. And I was, I was able to get to 96%, but I ended up having to log just because it was getting so late. Um, this was recorded, by the way, at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. So it was pretty late for me, though I woke up around uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I had a long day the previous day, so it was, um, it was a nice nap. <laughs> Um, so we get into Crushbone, and I, like I said, I killed here for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and just talk about, um, things that I'm looking at getting in the game at some point if I work hard enough, um, or I get, um, help, or I find friends, uh, which will probably happen once I get into, uh, that, that tw level 20 range um, because around 15 level 15 I'm, or 16 I'm probably going to move over to um, to Guck and fight there um, and usually that's when you start meeting people and then also could do high hold 
killing the orcs as long as you don't have a level 30 or so soloing them for the belts to sell or the scalps to sell um so i'll meet people it's just right now i'm in an area i have this whole zone to myself which is very weird but anyway um I think I end up getting like six or seven crush bone belts and I put them in the bank that way whenever I went back to Caledon I could go ahead and turn them in I don't want to turn them in until I'm at least level six um, maybe ten because those belts will take you up to um, level 13 or 14 pretty easily um, level I, I forget how the progression is for um, for us, I think it is um, 9, then level 15, and then so on um, for our spells or, or our abilities. So, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to wait to use the belts. But um, I ended up going to town several times because I kept uh, filling up on, on items, cloth items and whatnot. Um, yeah, I was trying to think of everything I went through to uh, while I was here. Um, so Soulfire, the quest looks like a very interesting quest. I can actually start doing it now because of the um, crafted parts are pretty easy to do. Um, just have to farm the the items from the different mobs. Um, then I also need to start working on faction for different places. So that's something that I want to do is um, get to zones where I can work on factions for the soul fire. Um, and also um, I was looking at the quest for um, the row armor, which is another thing that I'm going to have to um I'm going to have to um, get faction for because uh, you need faction for are you knight are you then um, I think it's Freeport Kinos and then either fell with or Kaladin so it's gonna be a long road to get that armor plus the fact it's not done traditionally meaning that you don't just get two items and then put those two items together with um, about a hundred to a uh, hundred to three hundred uh, plat worth of gems. Doesn't work like that for this armor. You have to do certain things to get a mold, and then once you have the mold, then you have to get a granite for uh, get a piece of granite from uh, Mistmore, and then you also have to have um, an enchanter enchant. Um, uh, platinum bars I think it is so there's a lot of things that go into getting the row armor but it looks awesome because it's all that that gold armor which I want I want a full set of it so I'll end up doing the quest it's just that I should probably start working on the faction now um, this is the first time I see or have contact with people and they're kind of weird around me by the way i think the color of their names depends on if they can attack me or if i can attack them um if they are blue or purple i don't believe they can attack me and i don't believe i can attack them because they're too high level so that means that's good for me i can't get hurt here now I don't know how PvP works in zones, like in towns, or uh, if there's a level range set by the zone that you're in, uh, or if it's uh, free for all uh, in dungeons or things like that, which I expect it will be, because if you're in a dungeon at level 10, and you shouldn't be there, uh, if it's a level 30 dungeon, by the, sorry about that. Um, so I don't, I don't think that's going to be an issue or uh, anything along those lines. I, that's how, that's what I expect out of dungeons. But in towns, is this considered a town and is PvP enacted or turned off? 
By the way, I'm hiding behind that pillar because I saw it in Enchanter and was trying to make sure that I didn't provoke them. <laughs> it's, very, it's weird how I'm playing uh, because I don't want to provoke anyone uh, because these are all um, uh, good people. I mean, not, not that they are personally good people, but they are good races. Um, so I try not to attack or kill them as that was the whole point of the way I was going to play a character is that uh, if they were good then I wasn't going to fight them at all uh, unless they provoked the fight as um, they started the fight um, but also um, I'm going to fight people that um, are evil as long as they're within my level range by the way, I don't know if it's this time or not, but I ended up seeing that same mage later on uh, out here killing oracles and um, centurions. So, um, it's so odd though, but no one came into Crushbone the whole time I was there. Uh, so I ended up fighting in Crushbone for, like I said, a few hours an hour a few hours i forget how long it was but um i get to 96 percent and um then i had to log but either way got pretty far and um, i'm really interested in how everything is going to um go on from here because um once i turn in several crush bone belts i think the plan is to actually move on to um to actually go to um <laughs> uh blackboro and start working on faction for freeport because i'm gonna need that or not freeport but kinos uh also i need to work on killing um orcs out in freeport or east commons so that I can get experience there. But you can also do a quest by turning in milk in West Commons. So there's that as well. Also, once I get around level 12, I'm going to start killing um, in North Row uh, to get silk and kill the, the beetles that are out there. Also, I can get into a dervish uh, camp or solo the dervish if I want to or if I'm able to. If I stay out in the Kinos area, then I'll be able to um, do the bandits at a certain point, like around level 15, and try to get bronze weapons. So there's a lot of things that I'll be able to do um, as long as I don't shut myself into these zones. Uh, so the next video will either be um, getting level 6 and staying here or getting level 6 uh, and a buffer and heading to Kinos which will be a fun run for sure because um, I'm not going to go through high pass because that'd be that'd be stupid and the reason why I say that is if there's not a group killing the orcs the orcs will kill me at level 6 if I go through um in Thrill Swamp and Ferrot, I have a better chance because um, I can stay against the walls, go into Wraith Mountains, you have that channel that is um, that doesn't have any mobs in it except for those two beetles, then you'll go into Lake uh, Wraith, then in Lake Wraith I'll get my swimming up while I swim over to South Karana, South Karana follow the walls, stay away from the Shadowmen, get to um, North Karana, and so on so I, it'll be a long run and if i die it will suck a lot <laughs> um but i don't know I, I can either let me know what you guys think um because there's going to be several days between this video and whenever i start playing again let me know if you think that i should stay here and just do crush bone belts because of the fact that there's not very many people here or if I should go ahead and head to Blackborough where I can get a lot of teeth by killing a lot of gnolls and get a lot of experience. Also, if I wanted to, I could go to um, Everfrost 
and kill there um, or um, West Karana, like I said. Uh, once I'm level 10 to 12-ish, 12-ish to 13-ish, I'll probably head to um, Aryadin, uh, Aryadin's Crossing and kill Wisps because um, you don't usually have very many people out there. Uh, but if there are people there, then what I'll probably do is do a round trip boat ride and head to um, North Karana and kill wisps out there, try to get greater light stones to get the tin plat per turn in. Things like that. That's what I'm thinking about is thinking ahead. Uh, next week, I'd like to get at least level 12. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. I think that's pretty much it, guys. I do thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and definitely let me know what you think about where I should go after this point or if I should just stay here. Um, I'm having fun on the server, but I, I wish I could have more people to group with. I, it's the only thing that I want more than what I have right now is just people to group with. And I'm not finding it. And that kind of sucks. So either way, this is Cypher Deck. Have a great day, a great evening, and a great night. Peace out.